That's why you got a pimple in your face. No, that's not a pimple. What is it? A scar. Why you dress like me? Yeah, Stacy mad at me because I ain't washed the dishes that she put in the sink. But that's okay, guys. <laughs> no, you don't ever wash a dish of my dishes and your daughter's dishes. She's half yours, right? You should wash her dishes as well. Listen, I abide by the he who smelt it dealt it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm the type of guy. I didn't even know recording had started. Oh, it started. You see how you it put started. me on the spot? I, we come in hot. Y'all, I'm the type of guy when I dirty a dish, I wash a dish. No, you don't. <laughs> the lies you tell. So you're going to get on here on Ghosted and Roasted and tell a lie. I do. No, you don't. I don't. You do not. You eat out of it, you leave it. <laughs> <laughs> you use it, it's there. You drink it, the can is there. So, I know everything you snacked on through the night because it's still there in the morning. Let me, let me. Okay. Hello, but, Ghost. See, no, see, we telling personal business. <laughs> see, we telling personal business. How was that? Personal business that you snack and leave the trash. Stacy, 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 Stacy. It's my bad, Stacy. Don't tell nobody. This is not sitting on the couch. No, it is. This is where we get off our uh, our discrepancies with one another. No, it with, is not with a neutral audience. No, it is not. So uh let me tell you about y'all's fearless shift leader's wife, aka the uh, uh human Hello, hover. Y'all, welcome. To another episode of Ghosted or Roasted. Let's get into it. I don't think we're getting off, getting off on this one. Because <laughs> they gonna hear about what you do. <laughs> A man named CJ, also known by his TikTok username Clax Attacks, posted a video to his TikTok account back in June of 2021 which shows him walking around outside only to make a horrifying discovery. As soon as he walks outside, we are met with a normal sight, CJ's driveway with his car parked in it. Then, he can be heard asking his dog Domino, what is that, after noticing that it's staring at something far off in the distance that he can't see. However, as it turns out, the thing the dog is staring at isn't so far away after all. Take a look behind the car. You can see this. This is really weird. Domino, what is that? What the hell is that? Hey! If you look just closely enough, you can make out what appears to be some kind of a dark shadow figure walking behind the car before ultimately disappearing without a trace. In a follow up video, CJ gives more context, stating that his dog usually likes to go outside, but states that he doesn't usually bark. But there was something off-putting about that night, as we just saw. CJ says that he hasn't seen the strange entity since that night, but says that he's still not sure if it was a person or some kind of a ghostly apparition. Let's just hope that CJ and his beloved dog Domino can go back to living in peace. Well, let me go back to the circle because you know if you if it ain't got a circle, you don't Listen, you don't I, fool with it. I like a circle because it shows me where to look. But I did see it even before this. You saw it in real time. Yeah, yeah. I saw it uh, in real time. What do you think about that? It, it looked. Wait a minute! But I didn't hear the dog barking. He was saying that the dog usually doesn't bark. Did oh, they play the video? <laughs> here you go. Here did you they play go. the video of the dog barking. Wait a minute! Was it seventy five? I mean, it looked real. It looked, outside? it looked real to me. Okay. But I would love your professional opinion. And you knew I had this shirt. Oh, Stacey, why yeah, did Stacey. you go and put? Stacey. Why did you go and change Stacey. and put on the exact same shirt? Hey, if y'all are ever in Atlanta, Georgia, please come to Doughboy <laughs> Harlem Hops. <laughs> Come check us out, y'all. We are located conveniently in the Lee White Food Hall on the west end of Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I believe this. I ain't tell you. I told them last night on live. I mm -hmm. ain't tell you. So, like two days ago, mm -hmm. me and Tito went outside. 
No, I promise you. I'm not even playing. I play all the time. I know you don't want me to tell you. I, to tell you. I don't want to know. I don't think I want to know. You don't want me to tell you? Mm-mm. All right, so me and Tito went outside, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I promise. This is hand to God, Stacey. I, I know. Not being I funny. know you're not. I know you're not lying. Taco scary ass stayed on the porch. Me and Tito walked down the stairs. So I was trying to get Tito to use the bathroom. Stacy. So, you know, I was telling them last night, you know how the little girl across the street yes. be on the porch sometimes waving. Yes. And I don't know if you do, but I don't always see her. Because if you're not looking, mm-hmm. you know, they be sitting down on the porch. Right. You, you just won't see her unless right. you look, right? So, I, it's nighttime. So, me and we down on the bottom of the stairs. Tito is perched up looking across the street onto her porch. Mm-hmm. I look up and I see someone sitting on the porch. Mm-hmm. The you know it's a a, a street light above there, right. so it's glowing yes. onto their porch. I see someone sitting there. I look down back at Tito. He's perched up looking. I go to look up because I was like, oh shit, maybe old girl or her mom or the grandmother is outside. Mm-hmm. Let me wave. Stacy, I looked and there was nothing there no more. Maybe she went in the house. The door didn't. Wasn't nobody in the door. No door open or nothing. Tito, I knew it was something because Tito saw the same thing I saw across the street. Like he was looking, like what? Is, like who is that? You know how he looked with somebody, mm-hmm. somebody standing there. I told you. Now I'm gonna be scared to walk Tito at night and Taco. First of all, you don't even walk Tito and Taco at night. <laughs> yes, I do. When you're not here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. So I say all that to say Tito did the exact same thing that Domino did in this video two days ago. I'm ghosting this one. You're ghosting it for sure. Yeah, for I'm sure. gonna ghost it. It for looks sure. real to me. And Domino, I'm mad that we remember the dog's name. Domino was not moving. Listen, that's how Tito was. Stacy, Tito was on perch. Like that's how I know. And what's and what's wild is everybody that follows the graveyard shift. When I take Tito and Taco out, we all know that Taco is the sensitive one. Taco always perks up, sees stuff that you can't see, senses stuff that you mm-hmm. can't sense. Tito will never. Tito saw what I saw <laughs> two days ago across the street. But then it makes me think, I know this ain't got nothing to do with Ghost of the Roasted. I wonder, is that something that maybe wandered here through the graveyard shit that's over there? Or is that something dark at her house? On to the next video. <laughs> I don't know, Stacey. I don't know what you think. You think her house haunted? The YouTube channel Northern Paranormal Team UK posts video to their account which sees them exploring a wide variety of abandoned and otherwise creepy places throughout their home of Manchester, England. As I'm sure you can expect, the team usually ends up exploring some legitimately unsettling places, but perhaps none of them are quite as unsettling as the time they explored this one creepy house. During this one part of the investigation, the team can be seen walking around the living room area and are talking to one another. At one point, the cameraman pans the camera up, and it's right here in which this video gets absolutely terrifying. Take a look. Jeff Gann is doing the K2 and he's got a couple of lights on it, you know, so we don't know. Yeah. I don't know, all we can do is just keep going past and see. Oh! What the hell? Did I I just see something now? Am I imagining that? I don't know, let's go. I missed it. I saw that in real time. I missed it. What the hell? I don't know. To me, it looked like a face. A strange, ghostly face can be seen appearing very quickly before disappearing just moments later. The team notices this happening, and they are audibly freaked out by their discovery. However, they are not able to come into contact with this spirit a second time despite their efforts. This video is six months old, and yet it seems as though this bizarre mystery has yet to be solved. Will it ever be solved? Who knows? But one thing is for sure, the Northern Paranormal Team UK probably has this house on their list of scariest locations. Because mm. then like where is the- Because f- then when you go around there's nowhere for it, nowhere to go. When he took his camera around there? That happened fast. That happened fast. I saw it I in did real not, time. I didn't. <laughs> but I heard him. And by the time I like zoned in, it was over, gone. But he responded like you. 
I'm ghosting it. What you doing? I'm going to ghost it. It happened fast. And like the shadow it's casting, like the, fa I don't know. I'm ghosting that one. Yeah, that, that hit both of y'all. Like he caught it too. That was weird. That was quick. That video happened fast. Over on TikTok, a man named Trent Williams posted a video in which he says that he doesn't usually believe in any sort of paranormal stuff. Wait, oh, I was about to say, is Trent black? <laughs> I thought Trent Wait, was a brother. The way, in that the way he was posed in the photo? Uh, I said, we got a brother, <laughs> we got a ghost in for sure. And then who fucked Paranormal with? stuff. But Trent ass. <laughs> <laughs> Trent was suited and booted on that photo. Trent had just left the tanning <laughs> salon. Hold on, Trent. Now, how, Trent, you black in that photo, Trent. <laughs> of paranormal stuff. But one particular incident is making him question himself. He says that he was at Skinny Atlas Lake in upstate New York, staying at an Airbnb. Trent says that at the Airbnb, the owner said they've gotten lots of people saying that they hear piano playing at night. Upon hearing this, Trent thought the owner was simply making it up, but says that now he has indeed heard it. He also said that the daughter of the guy who owns the place passed away as a result of a car accident, and her ashes are, you guessed it, on the piano. Trent also says that he gets chills when he simply walks into the room, and I don't blame him. In a second video posted by Trent to his TikTok, we actually get to see this piano in action. As Trent makes his way to the piano to start filming it, this happens. It's this piano, I swear to God it is. No, dude, you got me up if I die, I swear. I will. Oh, God. Oh, shit! <laughs> Out of nowhere, one of the keys is pressed down, which immediately startles both Trent and his friend, who yell out in surprise. Could this be the ghost of the girl who passed away from the car accident? If so, is this her way of trying to learn piano from the afterlife? Oh. We may never know. So that's not one of those pianos that can play itself? Could be. But why did only one key go down? True. They play whole songs. He got up at her. He got up out of there fast. <laughs> he did. <laughs> like I don't. Him think... and his boy left. Left. Okay. They did not wait one second. That looked like an episode of Ghost Brothers. He <laughs> might have been black in his avatar picture. <laughs> the way he handled Listen, that one. The way they got up out of there, and that one key. But I wouldn't be staying there. Ashes are sitting on the piano. But you want to be cremated. So where do you want me to put your ashes? I want to be um, spread across oceans. Spread me all over the world. You know, why would I do that, Stacey? Why would yes. I travel? Now I'm just traveling with your ashes? Yes, you are. Now I'm just traveling. Excuse me, sir. Where, <laughs> where are you headed <laughs> with <Yes>. that vase? <laughs> I am headed to Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, man, my wife are headed to Cape Town, South she, Africa. That's right. She, she, she loved this ready. place. I'm going to take her there. Spread her a little bit there. Face, I'm putting you in my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Is me that what you're doing? Me and Axel put you, know, you in the trunk. Take me. To Singapore, spread me a little bit there. Spread me sure, all over Stacey. the world. Sure, <laughs> sure. Sprinkle me. I told you, man. Put me in a pot, plant me with a uh, oak tree seed, and let me. Okay, Bria. Just because me and Bria think alike, y'all really do. She wants to be a tree. Bria is Stacy's cousin, so I guess she's my cousin too now. <laughs> Your cousin-in-law, yes, yeah, she is. My cousin-in-law, my seal, my she CIM. Wants to, she wants to be a tree as well. So plant us next to each other. Yep, y'all both want to be trees. Until Ikea come and cut our ass down, next thing you know we a damn uh, <laughs> futon. <laughs> Mad as hell, we a futon. <laughs> we a set. She Please. the ottoman, <laughs> I'm the futon. 
mad as hell. Please stop, Taylor. <laughs> That would be horrible. Oh my gosh! So are we? Go I'm ghosting it. Stacey, I don't even remember what the clip was. It was the piano. <laughs> oh, it sure was. <laughs> the piano that has the uh, ashes on it. Oh yeah, that's why you start talking about ashes. Yes, uh, I'm ghosting it. Okay, I'm ghosting well, that. Well, we've ghosted all of them. Today's been a ghostly day. That's what happens when you come up off of a uh, Halloween. Hey. It's no secret that a lot of people in the world are absolutely terrified of clowns and dolls. But what happens when you combine those two together and you get a clown doll? Unsurprisingly, the results are terrifying. This video was posted to TikTok by a woman named Brianna, who says that she recently moved next door to a cemetery which, perhaps as you can expect, was a big mistake. The footage shows Brianna and a friend of hers watching The Exorcist, it's an undoubtedly scary movie, but what happened to them in real life was arguably even scarier. Watch this. You killed your mother! You killed your mother! You killed your mother! You killed your mother! Out of nowhere, the clown doll that can be seen hanging on their wall moves all on its own. Which frightens Brianna to the point where she screams out loud before the video abruptly ends. Was there some sort of a spirit possessing this creepy doll? If so, what did it want? Are its intentions sinister? Just to be on the safe side, if I were Brianna, I would get rid of that doll immediately. You know what's crazy about that? I believe it. I believe it. But I don't even think it's too sinister. It really just looked like Buddy was just sitting up there watching The Exorcist too, And he was like, what? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? He said, well, you see that girl spit that stuff out of her head? Hell no. <laughs> What you think, Stacey? I don't know. What you mean you don't know? That was that was scary. I wouldn't. Well, wh why was the clown just hanging on the wall anyway? Like he was that? chilling. He was chilling. I'm gonna ghost it for sure, right? Yeah, I'm ghosting that one too. I got chills watching it, and then them watching. Um, you want me to warm you up, baby? Hmm. You smell like you fresh out the tub. Taylor, stop it! Be the <laughs> you do. You smell like soap, babe. Go to the next. Go stop it. You smell good. Go to the next thing. Yeah, we gonna cut this video short today, y'all. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, my baby smelling like dial. <laughs> Not dial. She smelling like bath and body work spray. No. <laughs> I don't have any of that. <laughs> she smelled like. Would you what's, stop and no. go to the next video? Yeah, what's Elizabeth Taylor's brand? She's my baby smell like white diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I know our audience out there can relate to that white diamond. <laughs> you are so silly. You no. gotta be 67 and up to wear white diamond, y'all. No, you do not. <laughs> Imagine you're upstairs in your room sleeping like usual when all of a sudden you hear an extremely strange and sudden knocking noise. But it's not coming from your bedroom door, but rather your garage. That's the exact situation that this Reddit user named Lone Butterfly found himself in. He posted a video to the Paranormal Encounter subreddit, which showcases security camera footage that was filmed inside of his garage at 3 in the morning. The clip is only 5 seconds long and wastes no time at all getting right to the point. Oh wow. As you just heard, it definitely sounds like there was something knocking on the uploader's car. 
But what was it? A ghost? Something else entirely? The uploader says that the incident happened about a year ago. At first, he says he thought the strange ghostly shape you can see in the video was just some fog or smoke, but he quickly dismissed the theory after not smelling anything unusual in the garage. He also states that the weather was not cold enough for anything like this to happen. So what could possibly have happened here? Let's just hope that this uploader won't have to worry about his sleep getting interrupted by this knocking ghost again. And then fog or whatever wouldn't be knocking. You know what first thing I thought about when I heard that knocking sound? What? You know that knocking sound in my car? They come out. <laughs> Y'all don't see my videos with that little knocking sound. What if it's a ghost knocking on my hood? No. I'm ghosting this one. That's your car. <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's what your car is doing. But this look like a ghost. We have ghosted all the videos. Today's been a ghosty day. It really has. I'm not mad at that. Oh, y'all. Today, oh, this video is only 21 minutes. But you know what? I just want to take the time before we get out of here. I just want to say congratulations to my best friend, my beautiful wife, and the mother of my child. Thank you, babe. Y'all, Stacy tonight is being presented with the entrepreneurial, what's it called? Entrepreneur of the year. She's entrepreneur of the year. I'm being presented by Future Successors nonprofit organization, which focuses on young people learning and being successful in entrepreneurship. Yeah, so my baby was picked out of God knows how many people. <laughs> it's a sold out event. They actually posted today that is sold out. That's going to be nice. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so I'm excited. Can I tell y'all something before we leave? The running joke in the Spratt household is uh, every time Stacy wins an award, which we're so grateful for, y'all. Thank you for acknowledging my beautiful wife. Um, we're just always curious to see this the ceremony that we're walking into. Y'all, when me and Stacy first started <laughs> dating, yeah, this is like week, week five of us being together dating. She was like, Dalen. I got an Entrepreneur of the Year award. No, it was not an Entrepreneur of the Year. It's in Houston, Texas. It was not an Entrepreneur of the Year. Award. I would love for you to be my escort for me to get this award. I was like, man, what? The woman I'm dating five weeks in, Entrepreneur of the Year? It was not in an Houston? Entrepreneur of the Year. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. It was not that. <laughs> Y'all ask me, ask me, y'all put the TV on mute real quick and ask me where did we get, where did we receive, where did we receive this award at? This entrepreneur, <laughs> entrepreneur of the it year was, award. Stop calling it that. That's not what it was. Don't downplay your award, baby. It was not an entrepreneur of the year award. Don't downplay your success. It was a war for community service. Whatever it was, y'all, it was in a comedy club. Listen, let me tell you, <laughs> it wasn't even my bad. It wasn't even, it wasn't even in a comedy club, y'all. It was a bar <laughs> in Houston. We're in, in the, the back. In the back, in the back little banquet room of the bar, they was doing stand-up comedy. But in the middle of the stand-up comedy, when they was exchanging sets, no, they were, Stacey, no, yes, they did. yes, they did. Yes, they did, Stacy. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Stacy. Yes, they did. Y'all, he over exaggerates so much. I, pro I pro was it in the middle of the set, Stacy? <laughs> they said, "All right, thank y'all. That was comedian JoJo Brown." <laughs> and coming up next, what? What? I mean, we got. All right, come come say real quick. Stacy, Stacy Spratt, we're gonna come give you an award real quick. Come get this. It wasn't just me getting an award. Don't do that. It was other people getting an awards also, but it was the back. Y'all, as soon as Stacy got her award, the man on the mic said, Thank you. Coming up next, Shuck It Ducky. <laughs> that is not true. And that is the end of Ghosted or Roasted, y'all. Thank you so very much. Make sure you tune in next week. Love, love, love. And congratulations to my baby on Entrepreneur of the Decade.